This video demonstrates navigating the Intel VTune Profiler graphical user interface to configure a performance data collection. The VTune Profiler welcome screen has a button to configure a new performance collection. There is also an option in the menu bar to configure a new collection. The VTune Profiler collection configuration window has panes to configure where to run the data collection, what to run, and how to collect the data. The WHERE pane supports configuring a local collection on the same system as the VTune Profiler user interface is running on, or an Android device over an ADB connection, or a remote Linux system. In the case of a remote Linux system, specify the username, the system name or IP address, and the location for VTune Profiler to copy the target collector files. The first time VTune Profiler connects to a remote Linux system, it creates a public-private key pair and deploys the public key to the target system's authorized keys file to enable passwordless SSH and SCP. It then deploys the VTune target collection package to the system. The WAT pane allows configuring VTune Profiler to launch an application, to attach to a running process, or to profile the entire system. The Attach to Running Process option supports specifying either the process name, or the process ID. When configuring an application, specify the path name to the application on the target system and any command line parameters. If the application has environment dependencies that are not configured in the user profile, such as configuring LD library path to find dynamically loaded libraries, VTune can execute a shell script that sets up the requirements before running the application. The advanced options include the ability to specify delaying data collection for a specified number of seconds after the application is started with the automatically resume after option. The data collection can be limited to a specified number of seconds with the automatically stop collection after option or by result data size with the result size from collection start option. The time from collection end option allows specifying the number of seconds to collect data in a circular memory buffer that is only written to disk when the collection stops. This allows collecting data over a longer period of time and only saving the last portion of it. The system-wide analysis option is only supported when hardware event-based sampling is configured. It is not supported with user mode sampling. The CPU mask text box supports configuring data collection for only the specified CPU cores. The custom collector text box enables injecting custom data into results to correlate them with the V2 and profiler metrics when visualizing results. The finalization option allows deferring finalization to minimize the impact of data collection on the target system. The How pane allows configuring the performance analysis type. Analysis types include hotspots analysis to detect the functions that are consuming the most processor time, threading analysis to analyze locks and weights such as semaphores, mutexes, and IO weights, system overview to explore system resource utilization, HPC performance characterization to analyze compute intensive applications memory access and vectorization, I.O. analysis to analyze disk, network, and system bus throughput and latency, microarchitecture exploration to identify processor instruction execution pipeline bottlenecks, memory consumption and access analysis, and GPU offload analysis. Each analysis type has various configuration options. Many include the option to specify user mode sampling or hardware event-based sampling. User mode sampling is the best option for threading analysis, and hardware event-based sampling is usually the best option for all other analysis types where the drivers can be loaded. User mode sampling does not require data collection drivers or kernel modules, but it is limited to a single process tree and a 10 millisecond sampling granularity. It may also prompt that special operating system permissions like perf event paranoid, ptrace scope, kptr restrict, and perf stream paranoid be enabled to support the desired analysis type. Hardware event-based sampling requires either data collection drivers or Linux perf be installed and enabled on the target platform. The hardware event-based sampling interval can be configured from 100 microseconds to 100 milliseconds. Smaller values result in more accurate sampling data, but also greater overhead. One to 10 milliseconds is a good value for most analysis types. Many of the analysis types also allow configuring whether call stacks will be collected by the data collector. Be aware that enabling call stack collection increases the sampling overhead. To map hotspots and bottlenecks to source code, specify the location of source and binaries with debug symbols on the host system. The command line button displays the command line currently configured 
and allows copying the command line to the clipboard to support creating a script to run this configuration. The triangle buttons allow starting the data collection in an active or in a paused mode. When pause is selected, the button changes to allow the user to select when to resume the data collection. While the data collection is running, the square button allows the user to stop the data collection. Otherwise, the collection will run until either the application completes or one of the other limits, such as time or data size, are reached.